Now, Melbourne actually wasn't even supposed to have laneways. When the city was first designed, uh, Governor Burke, who was in charge at the time, said, I don't want any laneways, because laneways encourage ne'er do wells and, and criminals and low lives, and they come to laneways and they do drugs and everything else. So you want to go laneways, just big streets. However, when the first land sales happened in 1837, the, um, the people who bought the land, now, the, the best way to make money off land is to buy lots of it and then subdivide. So that's what happened here. So people would buy entire blocks and then they'd sell them off in parcels. And the laneways became the, the areas between subdivisions. And that's how the laneways came about. So um, some of the laneways are named after other streets. So you may have noticed in Melbourne there's like uh, Collins, Little Collins, Burke, Little Burke, etc. Et so most of the streets are named after, you know, uh, former governors or, or governor generals or premiers or whatever, so it's kind of famous people. The reason why they're called Little after um, is because most of these governors, when they were kind of walking around, had little versions of themselves and would follow after, kind of like mini-me, so they're saved after the little version. Such. Such. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this, that's how the laneways came about. This is Hosier Lane. Hosier Lane, very famous obviously for its graffiti artwork, or street art I should call it. Um, the Melbourne City Council's got kind of a bit of a uh, schizophrenic attitude to, to street art. On the one hand, <coughs> excuse me. On the one hand, the council encourages street art because it's uh, it encourages people to come look at laneways and rest of. On the other hand, they also destroy a lot of street art at the same time. So, um, for example, there's an artist called Banksy, who's a very very famous graffiti artist who operates mostly in London. He uh, he came to Melbourne back in 2006, put some artworks up, and the city council removed. So. Kind of a strange attitude. Technically, you're supposed to get a permit from the council before you do artwork. Of course, never happens. You're also supposed to get approval from the building owner. Again, never happens. So, it's a bit of a strange attitude. You can actually be fined. If, if a local policeman finds you with a can of spray, you can be fined $550 on the spot. But, at the same token, if you look through all the advertising material for the city of Melbourne, oh, all the graffiti laneways, you know, so it's a bit strange. Um, now, the most basic form of street art is uh, what's called a tag. So this, this is what's called a tag. So just really quick, bang, 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 the artist's name. Really ugly, not very attractive. Um, a slightly more complex version is what's called a throw-up, which would be this one over here, the orange and black. So um, usually two, no more than three colours. Again, super quick, but slightly more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, an even more complex version is what's called a piece, which is what you see here, this uh, large mural going across here is called a piece. Um, you've also got other versions uh, which are called wild style, where you've got the artist's name is quite intricate and linked up in a kind of interweaving pattern, so that's called a wild style. <laughs> They're the main forms of street art. You've also got what's called uh, stencil artwork. Has anyone uh, have you seen stencil? Yeah. So Banksy's obviously very famous for his stencil artwork. Now, with, a, with, with this kind of artwork, you get a spray can and go directly onto the wall with a stencil. You pre-cut out your, your pattern or style, whack it up, and then quickly go to the top. So whereas this could take hours to do, a stencil is 10 seconds. Yeah, so that's kind of a really simple stencil. Uh, yeah, there's a couple more further up. Yep. The, uh, the third version of street art is what's called a paste-up. Now these, these are some paste-ups up here. So now technically these paste-ups are not uh, are not legal uh, because it's not technically classified as street art graffiti. And again, it kind of works on the same principle as stencil. Uh, you, you do it at home first, and then just kind of go bang, 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 stick it up, and it's all done. So, it's really basic.